Okay, today's shir is going to be in Makos on Daf Gimel Amr Aleph. The Gemara says like this: I'm Rav Yehuda Amar Rav. Eid Zomi Meshalim Lefi Chalko. Rav Yehuda says in the name of Rav that Adam Zomi false witnesses pay according to their portion. What's the case, for example? Two witnesses come in and say that Reuven owes a thousand dollars to Plony. Fine. Then another set of witnesses come and say. It's impossible that you guys know that Reuven owes money to Plony because you were with us at the time of the loan. So now the first set of witnesses are considered false witnesses. The discussion on Dav Gimel and Makos is now, what does it mean that they pay according to their portion? There can be four possibilities of what this means. Here's the first possibility. Maybe you'll say that what it means is that each one pays half. That makes sense. Actually, it makes too much sense. Why? Because it's a Meforish Mishnah on Daf He. It is a Mishnah on Daf He. Therefore, that cannot be the Chiddush, the new novel idea of Rav. Tanina, it's already taught in the Mishnah. Mishashim Mamon, Ve'en Mishashim Makos. You divide money, but you do not divide lashes. So we see clearly that it's already written over there. That can't be the new idea that Rav was coming to tell us. Okay. So maybe we'll say the idea is the Izum the Maybe we'll say that only one of them was caught. Instead of the two witnesses coming and saying that you were with us on that day, so you can't know it alone, they only said it about one of them. The other one we don't know where what's the story with him. But one of them was with us. Maybe you'll say that's what it means he pays according to his portion. That can't be. Why? Mimushalin, Dad Tanya, taught in a brisa, ain eight zom mimusham and momon, ad shizumu shneham. It can't be, because we know that there's no such thing as eight zom unless both of them are caught, not just one of them. And we know there's a rule, a general rule, that when it ever says the word eight in the Torah, it means two. So both of them have to be caught. It can't be just one of them gets caught. That can't be the case of Mushalin Lufik Chalkov. They pay according to their portion comes along Rava with a third explanation. Maybe the case is where one guy turns himself in. What would be the case? Two witnesses come and claim that Ruvain owes a thousand dollars to Plony. Then one of them turns around and says that he lied. Well, that's actually the case according to the Bach. The Bach says that in this case, there's not actually Adam Zomim. There's not a second set of witnesses that come and claim that you were with us. It's only a case where there's one set of witnesses, one witness turns around and says he lied, so maybe he pays his portion. Why would he pay? Because of Garmi, he's a cause of a loss. He's not a direct loss, but he's a cause of a loss. What do you do with the fact that the original state of Rav was Adam Zomim pay Lefi Chalko? Well, Lav Dafka. It's love dafke. It's not literally Adam Zomim. It just means how does an aid, one witness, pay according to his portion? Now, Tosos doesn't like this. He has a difficulty. What does it mean that one pays his portion? Maybe you'll say it's the way that the Bach is saying it. He's saying that can't be. Why not? Because why is he paying? He would only actually pay if he was made to be Zomim. He doesn't like the idea of paying as being a secondary cause of being a Garmin. Now, besides Tosfos' difficulty, the Bach is also difficult because Rav clearly said we're talking about Zomim. To say Lav Dafka uh, is very um, dochek. It doesn't really fit with the words of the text. Tosfos continues and says, what is the case then? The case where a guy said he lied. The case has to be like this. Two witnesses come in and say that Ruvain owes money to Plony. Fine. Then one of them turns around and says, I lied. Then came in the Adam Zomim. Two other witnesses and say that you were with us. So now what does it mean that Adam Zomim Mishalem Lefi Chelko? It's not the one who lied that pays his portion. It's the other one that pays his portion. Why? The one who lied is already out of the picture. He already gave himself in. The other one, when the Adam Zomim come in, there is a Zama on him. So he has to pay his portion comes along the Gemara and says, that cannot be the case. Why not? Kor kemine? Is it true that he would pay in such a case? Shehigid shu veinokhoz romagid. A witness cannot alter his testimony. 
He can't one minute say something and the next minute say he lied. We don't believe him. So even if one of them tried to get out of being in the Parsha of Hazama, still we don't allow him. So in that case, both people would have to pay. They would both have the din of Kasher Zamam, that what they try to do, they get back. So what is the case? O Mishalim Lefi Chelko, Eilem Zomim Mishalim Lefi Chelko, Eile Ba'omer Ha'idnu Ba'azmanu Ba'bestin Ploni where one of them runs away to another basin and claims that he was caught in Hazama. So maybe that's what it means, Mishal Mifi Chelko. Instead of doing Chos Ramagi, trying to alter his testimony in the first basin, he runs to a second basin, and he claims that he was caught. Maybe you'll say, in that case, he will pay his portion. We don't believe him on his friend, but maybe we'll believe him on himself. No, that can't be the case either. Come on. The local Rabbi Akiva. It's not like Rabbi Akiva. Dik Rabbi Akiva Ha'amar and Mishalim al Piatmo. Rabbi Akiva holds that the law of Kasher Zamam is a kanas. In other words, the fact that you get back exactly what you try to do is a fine. And by fines, if you're moda, if you give yourself in, you don't have to pay. So in such a case where a guy runs to a second base to turn himself in, it's not possible that this could be the case where he pays his portion, because in such a case, he would actually be putter. He wouldn't have to pay at all. Ayla, so what is the case? The conclusion of the Gemara of the case is, Ayla ba'omar ha'inu ba'hazmanu ba'beis din ploni ba'chayevim ha'mamon. It's a case where the first base din finished completely. In other words, we went to the end of the case. And the Basin said that this person is already, both of them actually, are chayev to pay the thousand dollars. So he runs away, and then he runs to a second Basin. They don't know anything. He's claiming that him and his friend were caught in another Basin, and they each had to pay the thousand dollars. Now he runs to a second Basin, which doesn't, which doesn't know anything. The new Basin will believe him on himself, will, but, but will not believe him on his friend. So this is what it means, Mishalim Lifi Chelko. In other words, the money, the tashlum, that this person is going to pay, the thousand dollars in the new, new base din, is actually a tashlum, a payment, for the din of Azama, Kasher Zama. Now that is the case, according to the conclusion of the Gemara, of Azama Lifi Chelko.